You can use Plasmic to visually build experiences that contain drag and drop interactions like the one we're seeing here. This was implemented using the React D&D library. And we're gonna show in this video how to register components that were um, implemented this way so that you can insert them into your page, into your Plasmic page. So uh, here we have this project that is already fully set up. And um, you can see that we've inserted this, uh, this component here called Atomic Container. This is basically what contains that drag and drop interaction that we were just showing. So all the code for this is available in this uh, GitHub repo here, but we're gonna take a look at the specific files that are implementing this. So here's the code. The Atomic Container is, um, this is actually lifted pretty much from the React D&D documentation. There's a specific example that um, I was looking at, the, sortable, the simple sortable example, and you can find the code for it here. But essentially this was just uh, mostly copy and pasting that code. Um, and uh, you know this is the container component and it in turn is rendering instances of the card component. Um, now we're not gonna care too much about how exactly this works. You can customize the behavior um, and the drag and drop you know, logic and whatnot for your application. Um, but essentially once that is done, then you can register them for use in Plasmic. And the way to do that is through our standard um, component registration calls like this one. So we're here registering atomic container. It just takes a single prop, which is um, what the data uh, initializes to. So if we go back to the Plasmic project, you can see on the right, we can customize what kind of data we're showing here. So um, that's that's one way uh, you can essentially expose an entire uh, drag and drop piece of your UI for insertion into your Plasmic design. So we have this atomic container, which can display the hard-coded design from our code. But what if we wanted to be able to customize what these cards look like and visually design them within Plasmic? So I'm gonna delete this atomic container and instead insert a customizable container. This one is very similar, except that each of these cards, you can actually click into it and customize what it looks like and how it's laid out, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, that works by, um, actually within each of these cards, there's a, a field component. So this is the second type of component that we have. And the field, uh, it just takes a simple prop here on the right which specifies which field of the data we want to display. There's just a single field really right now um, that we can display. And uh, so I can um, you know, display whatever other fields my data exposes. Um, I can lay them out however I want. And it's very flexible that way. So how does this work? If I go back to the code, below the atomic container, there's the customizable container. So this one has very similar code, except that the rendering is now um, using some plasmic helpers for basically uh, uh, there's a context, a React context uh, for providing data. So basically each of these cards has some data being provided via this context. And then that's how the field component is able to consume and display different data for each card. So, um, uh, so that data is being provided by this context, and then we're using this Plasmic Helper uh, for displaying um, basically this repeated field that is being mapped over from this loop. And that field component, if we scroll down to the bottom here, it's very simple. It's just extracting the data from that context and then displaying it, rendering it here. So um, so that's really how all of this works. And th th this, by the way, um, this whole repetition and um, using this data context, it's just generally how um, repeated dynamic data works in Plasmic in other contexts as well. Like if you're inserting a, uh, a grid of uh, product data from Shopify or some other data source. So that's how you can create drag and drop experiences within Plasmic.